Hey, what's going on, Thunderstruck Gaming? Thunder, thank you for posting my video for a second time. First things first, let me introduce myself. My name is Air of Gotham. As you heard, this is the second time I'm posted on TSG. Today, I want to talk to you about something that I've seen become more and more important in my daily life and also in, uh, in celebrities' lives, and that's social media and how it can hurt us and how we can hurt ourselves when it comes to social media. So before I get into the topic, let me tell you what's going on in the background. I got a brutal metal on gauntlet, running around getting some kills, and I'm going to show you pretty much the kill streak, and then I'll cut over to the the final score. So, like I said, I want to talk to you guys about social media. So I want to tell you a little story. 2016 NFL Draft, Laramie Tunsil, projected to be the number one overall draft pick as a left tackle and after a couple of trades for people that wanted quarterbacks pushed him down he was expected to be number three overall all of a sudden Thursday night first night of the draft a video gets tweeted out from his account showing him using a gas mask smoking a, a quote unquote substance <laughs> using some of that cush cloud that uh that he gets from Rejack right Thunder <laughs> But uh, yeah, basically, he gets caught on video and it's posted from his account. Now, obviously, he claims he didn't do it. I wouldn't believe that he did. He's quote unquote hacked. I'm doing the quote fingers here, guys. And apparently, following the story a little bit, at first they thought it was somebody from his family, but now they're talking about it. It was his financial advisor that he fired way back. Uh, and they posted it out of revenge or whatever. So here we are. A kid that's expected to make millions and millions of dollars as the number one overall or top three pick, losing millions of dollars because he slides on down to number 13 to the, the Miami Dolphins. As a Jets fan, I'm kind of bitter about that because they kind of got a steal there, but I'm going to move on. So this kid lost millions of dollars because of the position he was drafted in because of something that was tweeted out at the worst possible moment. So let's think about that for a second, guys, because a lot of people here are not going to be in an NFL draft. But a lot of you guys at some point are going to be applying to a college, applying to a job. And all of a sudden, that person that's in charge of your fate Googles your name and finds a tweet that you posted four years ago, two years ago, six months ago. And it's something that embarrasses you and it's something that they don't want their name of their college or the name of their job or whatever it is attached to somebody that could be found so easily so let me tell you a little bit about myself guys when i'm not doing call of duty videos when i'm not doing youtube uh, in my daily life i'm actually involved with a lot of hiring for my company and i have to sit in interviews and look at resumes and talk to people on a regular basis and get to know them and see is this person somebody that I want to work with? Is this person somebody that I want representing my brand? And to be honest, social media can affect my impression on somebody. Now, at one point in my life, a few years, a few years back, I was asked to be part of a panel um, of various people in professional industries, doctors, lawyers, you name it. We were asked to speak in front of a couple hundred high school kids from around the country. And this topic that I'm speaking on was actually the primary topic of the panel. So one point that I brought up and that I tried to em embrace when it came to the panel was the fact that no matter how private you think you are when it comes to social media, there's no such thing as private. No matter what, your account could be private where only your friends and family are on there, or it could be something where you think you posted it and you deleted it later on, but it's still going to show up because it's really hard to remove something from the internet. And those kind of things backfire on people every single day. So I want you guys, and I know we have a lot of, of kids, a lot of high schoolers, a lot of college kids that watch Thunderstruck Gaming, and a lot of people that actually make videos, you know. Uh, so this goes out to anybody, including YouTubers. Be careful what you say, be careful what you do, be careful what you post when it comes to social media. Because you never know. When somebody in your history that you grew up with or somebody that knew you from high school or whatever, they're bitter and they're jealous of you, of your personal progress, and they want to use that against you, so they post something that will hurt you.
and will prevent you from getting ahead in life. So I'm going to leave you there, guys. Please hit that like button for Thunder. I know it helps him out and it helps us out because it'll help grow Thunderstruck Gaming. And if you enjoyed the content, come on over. I would appreciate anybody that subscribes. Hit up that comment section. Let's get a conversation going. This is Air of Gotham, signing off.